Y'all see this? So I drove all the way up here. All of a sudden, she didn't change her mind. Okay, what's she saying now? I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Well, time to go. What is good, you guys? Today's another beautiful day. It's not exactly perfect temperature or warm, but it's it's comfortably cool. It's comfortably cool. Cool. Friend of mine that she asked me to take her somewhere, so I'm gonna do that. And I decided today I'm going to vlog my sister's quarantine cookout. The quarantine, I guess it's like a celebration or something, because the quarantine's almost over. So yeah, I am going to attend this cookout she is having these shades on and see what happens because the last time i went to something that my sister <laughs> since the last time my sister put on something that was kind of you know impromptu not only her but my dad along with some other people got a... it consumed a little bit too much um Tequila, and I got to see some sides of them that I had never seen before. So I said, Yo, this is a golden vlogging opportunity. And this is also another golden vlogging opportunity because I don't, it's not every day I incorporate people that aren't my family in some of my videos. So this would be a perfect opportunity to get some vlogging material. God dang, I forgot I had the heat up. I'm turning that down. It was cold last night. folks here we go I'm going to call this woman because I have no idea where I'm at y'all see this so I drove all the way up here all of a sudden she didn't change her mind okay what's she saying now I'm so sorry oh my god well time to go Hey y'all, so I got a little situation going on here, right? So this girl asked me to pick her up. It's a good thing it wasn't 30, 40 minutes. She asked me to take her somewhere, I said, okay. She's 12 minutes up the road, right? I get 12 minutes up the road. Then she sends me a message when I'm in the parking lot saying, it's okay. I'm like, what you mean it's okay? I just drove all the way up here. Then she's like, well, I'll be back in a second if you wanna chill. Y'all know how I feel about girls who don't have their own car. Whenever I'm dealing with females that ain't got no vehicle, it's always trouble attached to them. So I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on the fence about going after I, after I hit this cookout. Something ain't sitting right with me. She might be up to no good, so I'm gonna have to trust my gut with this one. We'll see where this goes. I hate it when people waste my time. Well, I'm glad I'm not screaming in pain on the side of the road. I'm telling you, can't call nobody. Hey Siri, call Draper. Yes. Now see, that's what I'm talking about. She, bam, that's what I'm, yeah. Picked up the phone in two seconds. Why can't you do that? Woo. Um, I wanted to add one more thing after that video. You are, I'm, just, I'm talking to the guys here. You a tulip picking pansy if you let some random girl hit you up with impromptu plans that mess yours up. If you let that happen, you a pansy. Okay, finally at the cookout. Took me a while to find it because as you can see, ain't nothing out here but trees, man. Ain't nothing out here but trees. Random house in the middle of a whole bunch of trees. But that's how it is when you live in South Carolina. So let's get it.
That's the party host. She didn't want to get put on camera because she's walking away from me. Go ahead and put this um tripod in the car because people keep thinking I'm the cameraman. If I was getting paid, I'll be the cameraman, but I am not the camera man. So we're just gonna be carrying this free range. We'll be back with these messages if, I'm, if something exciting happens or starts to happen. All right, y'all. Most people say a picture's worth a thousand words. Plus, I didn't really get that much video footage while I was out there. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to speak and, you know, I'm going to do some, like, picture dialogue, okay? So, watch. So the digs was pretty nice. They had, like, a little gl glow-in-the-dark couches that I know that they got from Jeff Lynch. They had a little pool table. It was it was pretty nice. I could tell that this was a custom made, hand built house, which was awesome to me because I plan on having one of my houses be custom blueprint scratch made myself with a lot of land. Y'all hear me talk about this all the time. At first, there wasn't that many people that showed up, but then as it got darker and darker and darker, you know how people show up fashionably late. It was getting swollen up in that bit. I mean, there were so many people. I don't know where the heck they got caution tape from, but there were so many people. They had to put up caution tape to keep those from parking in areas to where people can't, you know, get out. Because there were so many cars there from all the people. People needed places to park. So we had to create designated areas for people to park. There was even DJ booming music out there. If it wasn't for the DJ booming that music, I wouldn't even found a place. Here's a little walkthrough clip just to show y'all what I'm talking about. I wouldn't say this was the best place for me to be personally, but my family was there. It was something to do before everything else opened up this week by the grace of God because I'm really looking forward to roller skating this Friday. Ah, man, I've been missing out on some serious cardio ever since I closed the roller skating rings down, but now that things are starting to open back up, maybe I can finally start having fun and losing weight having fun or shaping up having fun. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get more lean. But that's pretty much everything in a nutshell for how that party went. They had like jello shots. They had liquid. Hold on. I don't know if I should say this on camera. Let's just say they had some. They had some stuff that might take you to another place. Not kill you. Not 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 death, but like they had they had some stuff that could take you somewhere at, at this party. That's all, I, that's all I'm gonna say. It was like an outdoor club. I wouldn't say this was cookout vibes. It started to get pretty cold out there after nighttime came. So I made the decision to dip. This is where the police started showing up anyway. So I left just in time to go home and binge. Hey y'all, so I got a little situation going on here, right? So this girl asked me to pick her up. It's a good thing it wasn't 30, 40 minutes. She asked me to take her somewhere. I said, okay. She's 12 minutes up the road, right? I get 12 minutes up the road. Then she sends me a message when I'm in the parking lot saying it's okay. I'm like, what you mean it's okay? I just drove all the way up here. Then she's like, well, I'll be back in a second if you want to chill. Y'all know how I feel about girls who don't have their own car. Whenever I'm dealing with females that ain't got no vehicle, it's always trouble attached to them. So I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on the fence about going after I, after I hit this cookout. Something ain't sitting right with me. She might be up to no good, so I'm gonna have to trust my gut with this one. We'll see where this goes. For those of you, <sighs> pop took on my mouth. For those of you wondering if I'm gonna go chill with so and so or not, it's not going to happen. I got out of that non-social distance cookout thing we were having about 10 o'clock i'm not even home right now i'm over the folks i ain't hit back from that girl i'm not reaching out to that girl i'm not going over that girl's place 
because it'd be a waste of my time. So I'm just gonna chill right here, watch Netflix, chill by myself in the living room because ain't nobody here, and I'm going to do this.